Donald does have another snake that's ready to be released and has some remarkable fangs. This one, though, has the power to hit me with its venom from a couple of meters away. And to show you that, I'm going to need some high tech. A pair of goggles with a little camera stuck to the top. This is going to enable me to see right down the gullet of a spitting snake. Our next snake is the Mozambique Spitting Cobra. Found all over Southern Africa, they have a defense strategy that packs a punch. So safety is of the utmost importance. OK, everyone, so as soon as this comes out or the lid comes off, no one without goggles comes within two meters. That means everyone. Understood? So our spitting cobra is in place underneath this little teepee. I've got my goggles on. The second Don lifts it up, it's going to turn around and see me as a threat and hopefully spit towards me, squirting venom down through its hollow fangs straight towards my eyes. OK, let's give it a go. Go for it. Bingo. Right in the face. I'm just washing my face because if any of that venom gets into my bloodstream through a cut or a scratch or, you know, maybe even just a little nick in my gums, then it would have exactly the same effect as being bitten by the snake. So that venom is used as a way of protecting itself. The snake can drive away a larger animal without that animal getting close enough to do the snake damage. It's a remarkable piece of evolution. But the thing that makes all of this possible is those remarkable teeth. So a spitting cobra has short, stout, fixed fangs at the top of the upper jaw. They're hollow, and they have a twist that runs down the center of them. And that gives them their extraordinary accuracy. It is a real serpent water pistol. 